Well, hello everyone. Uh, this last Sunday, the recording equipment didn't function properly, and we weren't able to record the message. But it was Mother's Day, and I've had a number of people ask me if I could put the message on. So I'm going to record it now, just sitting here in my home, uh, like we were doing before, and put it on so that everyone can get the Mother's Day sermon. I've actually just titled it simply Mother's Day, and here it goes. As I was growing up, um, I had a pretty hard time getting those warm, fuzzy feelings that everybody talks about having on Mother's Day. Now, my mama, she had a pretty good-sized temper. If you ticked her off, well, the response would be immediate, and it would often be pretty doggone harsh. There wasn't any warning. None of this count to three stuff. One, two, three, none of that stuff. Uh, it was just, and it was done. Our adult relationship, well, it got much better over the years. All the kids were there for both mom and dad as they aged and as they passed from life to life eternal. Amazingly enough, I'd love to be able to look mom and dad in the eye and just say thank you. Yeah, sure, mom could be harsh, but if you lived underneath their roof, you couldn't avoid learning right from wrong because that's what was taught there. Knowing what I know now, seeing the results of undisciplined children out in this world that we live in, I'm glad I was taught right from wrong, even if it was at times a bit harsh. I can honestly say that I love my dad and I love my mom. They're both gone now. I'll never see them again in this life. And this fact can be kind of hard sometimes, especially when you're making hard decisions. You know what it's like. You like to just to have someone that you love and that you know loves you to bounce things off of, to act as a sounding board. The bottom line is, it's hard to say your last goodbye to your mom and dad. Here's the thing. Jesus knows what it's like. He knows what it's like to say goodbye to parents. He left his heavenly father to come to earth. His earthly father seems to have died while Jesus was still relatively young. Some of his last words on the cross make it abundantly clear that leaving his mom had its challenges. His words from the cross are truly touching. I'd like to share them with you in sort of Snowden format uh, as we celebrate Mother's Day today. Jesus, looking down from the cross, sees his mother and the disciple that he loved like a brother. To his mother, Jesus says, Behold thy son. To John, he says, Behold thy mother. Let's picture the scene for just a moment. Three heavy laden crosses stand upon Mount Calvary. Jesus, the Son of God, hangs upon the central cross. The mob jeers and pokes fun at Jesus as he hangs there in pain. The soldiers gamble for his clothing at the foot of the cross. The religious leaders, well, they're rejoicing because they think they've won. In the midst of it all, Jesus looks down at his grieving mother and by her side, he sees John. Jesus lifts his voice and says to his mother, Mom, you look over there, John. From now on, he's going to be your son. And then he spoke to John. John, from now on, my mama will be your mama. And from that time on, John took Mary into his own home. It's not Jesus' mom who's leaving. It's Jesus himself. But this loving son wanted to make sure that his mama was taken care of. Even in death, Jesus was looking out for his mama. He wanted to make sure that she had what she needed. So he arranged for his mother's care. Yeah, Jesus had brothers and sisters, but Jesus knew all things. And I think he knew John was going to live to be a ripe old age. And that John would be the right choice. Jesus set a wonderful example of what a son's love for his mother ought to look like. Now, when God gave the Ten Commandments, he gave us instructions as to how we should act toward our parents. In Exodus 20, verse 12, we're told to honor our father and mother, that our days may be long upon the land which our Lord our God has given us. We read Paul's admonition in Ephesians 6, 1 and 2. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Note the phrase, in the Lord. Even our parental guidance is to be tempered by the will of Almighty God. 
We're told to honor our father and mother. If we do, we're given a promise. In essence, if we listen to them, there's a good chance we're going to live a longer and better life. They say things like, don't you play in the street or you'll turn flat. They say things like, don't you stick anything bigger than your elbow into your ear or you might go deaf. They say things like, don't you put beans up your nose. They say things like, never stick anything into a light socket but a light bulb or you might light up yourself. Or how about this one? If you keep frowning like that, your face may freeze that way and you'll be frowning the rest of your life. Or how about this one? You better spit out those watermelon seeds. You might wind up with a watermelon growing in your belly. Yeah. Eat all your food. Don't you know there's kids in Africa that love to have what you got? Or I used to love this one. Man, you better wash behind your ears or something's going to start growing in all that dirt. Wow. The list goes on and on and on. I know one thing that I remember. is what James Dobson said to his son. He was going in for heart surgery, not knowing what the results would be. And his son came in to visit with him just a few minutes before he went under the knife. And James reached up and got his son and pulled him down. He says, when I get to heaven, son, you make sure you're there too. I believe saying goodbye to parents is one of the hardest things that I've had to do yet in life because it's so final. Now, I realize I've not lost a wife or a child, and that's got to be absolutely horrible. But losing a mama and losing a papa, it's hard. Parents might be just a little bit kooky, but they're our parents nonetheless. We love them. And Jesus showed us how to honor them, how to care for our parents. Fortunately, children don't usually die first. But here's the thing. That being the case, most of us, if we haven't, will have to someday say goodbye to our parents. If we want that separation, if we want that goodbye to be what it should be, then we need to honor our parents while they're alive. Let's give our mothers the honor that they deserve. My mama was a kid raising kids. It's a wonder that she did as good as she did. Her mom died when she was nine and she was married by the time she turned the age of 13. We always had food on the table. It might be a little crispy sometimes. We always had clothes to wear. They might have been hand-me-downs, but at least they were washed and clean. I wish I'd done a better job of honoring my mom and papa sometimes while they were alive. Because I've come to realize, being a parent myself, parenting's a lot harder than it looks. It's not always easy to honor our earthly parents. Here's the reason why. Parents make mistakes, myself included. We make mistakes. But I promise you, if you don't honor your parents, you'll one day regret it. You're going to be amazed at how fast they leave this world. And when they're gone, we experience a loneliness like no other. Has your life been one that your parents would be proud of? Have you taken time to talk to your mama? and your papa? Or are you so busy doing your own thing that they're being ignored? I read a story once about an old man who took his phone to the repair shop. He told them it wasn't working right. They checked it over. It looked absolutely fine to them. They came back and told the old man, we can't find a single thing wrong with this phone. It works very well. All at once, the tears started rolling from his eyes down his cheeks and the old man said I wonder then why my kids never call me friends God tells us to honor our parents they're the ones that should have been teaching us about Jesus if they did they've given us one of the greatest gifts anyone could ever give especially if your parents have taught you about Jesus. They deserve your honor because they're supposed to be teaching you those things. God's word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. If we follow the word of God along with the instruction of our parents, we're going to live a longer and better life. I encourage you this day to follow the words of God and the guidance of your parents. 
because God commands it. If your mama is still alive today, you need to get with her. Give her a call on the phone, FaceTime her or Zoom, a Zoom meeting with her. Let her know that she's loved. And never, ever forget that our greatest guide is our Heavenly Father. We want to ask that you sing with us today thy word as we close this Mother's Day service.